everybody, it's Scott Atwood. I am on in the panhandle of Texas, almost to New Mexico. Uh, we're on our way to San Francisco again. Joy, joy. But uh, if you've been following my channel, you probably realize that I've been having a really, really rough month. And uh, I've let it get me down, and I really am sorry about that. I, uh, I'm usually a really happy person, but I've been almost depressed lately. And I got to go home uh, for one night because they were going to put my truck in the shop. And so I went home, and uh, I was a defeated man when I walked in the door. Uh, only two of my kids were there. I really miss my kids when I'm out. All the rest of them, they went to Helen, Georgia, and uh, they tried escargot. I don't think they really enjoyed that much, but they got to go on a zip line. And uh, Helen, Georgia is like a uh, German community, and they got a lot of tourist stuff. They rode uh, go karts and went on a zip line. They had a real good time, so I was glad. But I didn't get to see them, and I was pretty down in the dumps. I did get to get my uh, Ruckman Bible, which I do love, and I, I really like. I haven't had a lot of hardback Bibles, but I really like it on this truck. Because when I'm laying in the bunk reading, it stands up on its own. It doesn't plop around. So that's cool. So I went home totally defeated. And uh, my mother, uh, she's 81. She lives with me, too. Um, she's uh, battles depression real bad. And she won't take any medication, which I don't, I, I don't disagree with that. But uh, I walk in the door and my mother has her hand in her, or her face in her hands, and she's weeping, and I mean, I'm beat down, <laughs> and I had to comfort my mother, and uh, anyhow, I came back to work, I opened the door to the truck on my knees, <laughs> uh, just a defeated human being. But being on the knees wasn't a bad thing because that's exactly where I needed to be. I don't know if it's an attack by uh, the enemy. This might be. Uh, then again, it might just be life. You know, it's not all not all roses. So I really uh, and even last night I just just been down so I got up this morning and for the last hour and a half I have been praying and seeking the Lord and I was not coming out of that prayer closet until I found some closure and I honestly think I, I have um, Lord reminded me of that verse in Job chapter 40 verse 7 I think it is he said, gird up your loins like a man. So, that's what I'm going to do. I'm, uh, I'm not going to accept this. The joy of the Lord is our strength. And so I'm not going to accept this. So what I want to talk to you a little bit about, uh, sorry to throw all that on you, I just... Uh, Bible says to uh, admit your faults, and uh, that's a fault that I've been having. Been having a rough month, uh, and I appreciate all y'all that pray for me. And then I lost a couple of subscribers, <laughs> which I think means that I'm doing something right, because if you're not ticking somebody off, you're not preaching the word, I don't think. But uh, I want to talk to you a little bit about Psalm 100 today. And I think this is a, a good way to get out of a depressive state. And uh, the Bible says in uh, Psalm 100, it says, uh, and I'm going to mess it up, but I'll make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. 
and uh, come before his presence with singing. Know ye that the Lord, he is God. Boy, don't we need to learn that. Uh, Psalm 100 is uh, five verses, and if you're a preacher or a teacher or something, it is a perfect five-point outline. Verse 1, make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. And verse 2, serve the Lord with gladness. Boy, I haven't been doing that lately. Come before his presence with singing. And I was reading this this morning and I, I couldn't I couldn't think of any good songs, so I started singing uh, Count Your Blessings, name them one by one. And then I started counting my blessings. And you know, it's not as bleak as it looks. And then know the Lord. Know ye that the Lord, He is God. Have you got that down, folks? You got, you're ahead of the game. And enter into His gates with gladness. I think that's talking about prayer. Uh, come before Him with thanksgiving. The Bible says, uh, make your supplications known unto God. And come before Him with uh, thanksgiving. And then verse uh, 4, come before him with thanksgiving, enter into his courts with praise, praise the Lord, I have my salvation, I have a job, I can actually uh, support my big family with, and uh, we're not wanting for anything, I've got extra things, i got money, I can buy a a Bible every once in a while, and uh, I can send them kids to Helen, Georgia. Uh, so count your blessings. And then verse 5, For the Lord is good. His truth endureth to all generations. The Lord's good and His truth endureth to all generations. So that's just a basic little outline on uh, Psalm chapter 100. Uh, make a joyful noise to the Lord. Know ye that the Lord is God. You got to get that. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving. For the Lord is good. So there you go. If you're a young preacher, old preacher, or teacher, or anything, that uh, Psalms chapter 100, a perfect five point outline. You really don't have to do anything but let the Lord speak in that one. Anyway, I've kept you long enough. I appreciate your prayers. I Hope you continue to pray, and uh, I'm getting out of this. Uh, it's like I'm in a fog, and it's I'm over it. I'm just going to pray until it's over and seek the Lord's face. And if you're having troubles, uh, maybe you could do the same. Listen, uh, experience uh, hardship builds character. And how could I uh, minister to someone about having a hard time if I've never gone through one myself? And that goes for all of us. So not everything's supposed to be enjoyed. Some things are supposed to be endured. But I'm over it. Uh, the joy of the Lord is my strength. And I'm pleading the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ against Satan and his minions. I don't know if this is an attack. It sure does feel like one. I've been attacked physically by him, and uh, I've been attacked mentally also. And a good friend of mine uh, told me, you know, 
when you start doing something for the Lord, that's when the attacks really begin. And I've really been trying uh, to do something for the Lord with this silly channel. And I've had uh, one guy get saved. And, uh, hey, that to me is worth it all. So I'm probably ticking Satan off. And uh, so I plead the blood of Jesus against Satan. And I appreciate y'all watching this. And uh, may the Lord bless you. And uh, read your Bible and pray without ceasing. God bless you, folks.